They're going to play. We're going to get the lag here. Hello, all. That's Mr. James Harris. In the booth. Mr. Bryant Parks looks like he won his first match. 7-3 over Victor Ignacio. Oh, Cordell, was that Melissa Hernan 6-1 over Damon Red? Yes, that is, sir. And Damon just put a four-pack on his first opponent. Really? Yeah. 'Characteristic play by Johnny Kang and Chris Robinson. I was just going to ask who won that match. I was outside. Uh, Johnny Kang. Johnny did. Yeah. Score. Uh, seven five. Seven four. Seven four. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. It's tight. All right. Young gun spectacular. I like the young guns. They get up there and shoot them. And Spencer game is uh, coming up pretty strong. Yes, it is. It's right. Actually, yeah. Oh, that was a nice hammer right there. And here we go. So you know, watching Oscar break the other night, <coughs> the hammer's real good, but Oscar pops that cue ball and parks <laughs> it like he's got ballet. Yes. Yeah. That's that's facts. And, and you can tell the difference between Johnny's break and Oscar's break. Yeah. And then that's control versus non-control. Yeah. So you need you need that control. All right, so Spencer blinks first. Two ball is open. James has still got a tough little table here. The, the, oh, he's yeah. got to shoot the combo on the, on the three nine, and then the four Not is really easy. tough to get to, unless he breaks it out. You think he might play the three nine? I think he might have to. I don't think the three goes by him. No, it doesn't. Unless, you, Unless he plays a safe. <laughs> right. If you, you might play a safe because the four is tied up. If right. he doesn't get the angle to get to the four, he plays a safe. Exactly. Uh, Looks like he's going to have to play the count. Uh, no, I think he just tucks us in behind the nine. Oh, he's calling the nine? Yeah. <laughs> he's young. <laughs> he's young. He's going to shoot. Yeah, see, that's uh, and now. Yeah. Broke out the balls. I don't think the three goes though. It's if yeah, I think and it's he got a little edge of the nine hook too. You gotta you got away with that there. Yeah. But, but you I'm, see where the cue ball went? I'm not thinking about that at a slower speed. He goes yes. two rails and parks it behind the oh, nine. Yeah, then you're in jail. That's what happens though, you know, the more you play, the more you start understanding what's going on. Yes. Spencer used to be like that. Now he's playing a lot smarter. Oh, no. Spencer, Spencer used to just jump up and think he can make everything. Oh, the kid plays smart now. The kid plays smart. Play. And he will get out on you, too. Yes. <laughs> All right. Good chance here for James. Local, yeah, his angles kind of tight. He just got to roll it in with pocket speed. Oh, beautiful. He's thinking here. I'm a little he's bit. He's got to roll off the table. Yeah, yeah, he's like, I'm a little bit under here. Oh, look at that! He went for the bank, and it's a good opportunity right here for Spencer to capitalize here. Yes. 
So many stream matches we already had this morning. Three? This is the third yeah, one? Yeah, this, this is the third, third one. one coming up right here. Yeah. What was that, you? Someone hit me right now. I thought that was it. <laughs> if I hit you, you'll know it. You're nearby, man. That's my stuff. That's my stuff. We're gonna get a little more light skin and up your profile. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eddie Colton in the house, official repairman of the MWST, maker of Eddie Cohen Q's. If you don't know, now you know. Waiting list. He put his mother on the waiting list. He would. That's business. All right, good shot by Spence. Money. Actually, Spencer just, just had a great shot. Yeah. Right? Because he overhit the the five ball, yeah. put himself long, and then he just used a nine to, to he almost got out of the seven, he hit a little hard still. Yeah, yeah. And that, I think he's a little pumped up playing on the stream. Right. But, and Spence is getting taller every day, man. Yes. <laughs> Spence is one of those kids who's like, remember me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, he kind of two-stroke that one wrong. Yeah, that's not like him. I, I fully expect him to just have a seat, bear down, and he'll come back with another perspective. It's got to be tough for these kids too, man. They'll just, you know, make friends with, you know, Brendan and stuff. It's tough. And I'm just glad people are here having a good time. Overcut. Yep. <laughs> Caught the edge of the pocket, and... I think we'll see Spence just come here and, and get out. This is opportunity knocking. You like this ankle back for the five? Oh yeah. Just punch us in. One, one, one rail? Yeah, one rail back to the nine. <laughs> A little bit of, well, like five o'clock. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, like five. Oh, he went overstroked it? No, it's going to slow he's going to slow it down. Yeah, but he could He's still overstroked <laughs> Yeah. You really don't want to be right there. No. You want a, a nice little angle. Yeah. Uh, table number nine, DC and Michael Robinson. DC. When you're young, though, it doesn't matter. You like to see a ball, make a ball. It's those young eyes. Yeah. Mike Rogers, Mike Lynn, table 15, and get your And there you go. Spence Ladd first blood. 1-0. Spence. Spence. He's wearing headphones. All right, all good. Give him the scores, James. What we got? Any updates here? Oh. Got a bunch of zero zeros. Evan Edwards four over just four three over Justin Marks, and you just oh John Nicole and Ashton Schaefer tied at three three. Jason Mary up five three over Reggie Gobaleza. Yeah, Kelly Lynn and <laughs> Gail just started zero zero. Dave Martinell is down seven six to Joseph Hankins. That one just started. Kevin May is up 2-1 over Mark Whitehead. Ernesto Dominguez and Santos. That's a good match. That's a great match. 4-4. 4-4. Kelly just started. Sai Nakashima and John Ferguson. Sai's up 4-3. Steve Register and Aldo Mendoza tied at 6. Dexter Real up 3-1 over Jose Torres. Omar Vasani up 3-0 over Mike Meeker. Tony Castro up 1-0 over Jaden Brock. Dan Kaufman and Mark Anthony Barber tied at five. We the rest of them are at zeros. We got an action. See again, Spencer's break, the cue ball. Is this, I'm telling you, I watch, what was it? 40, 50, 60, 71 games of Oscar and Johnny. And, and Oscar, you gotta park that cue ball. You, you get a shot, you park the cue ball. You get a shot. If you, if you park it, you will have a shot. Easier said than done. It is easier said than done. But you know, I got to watch. Um, <laughs> I got to watch Shane, Corey, and uh, Jason Clack just now, break the balls. Ridiculous. Why would you? Oh, like on the eight ball. Was <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting how well, those guys break. Uh, it was. It was excellent. 
I'm trying one. to figure out what James just did there. He slow rolled the I, one into I the I think six. he got fixated on one part of the shot and didn't really think about the other part. You think so? Yeah. Because no way you want to set this up just to go jump automatically. You got to stretch out over the table. This yeah, because he didn't roll the cue ball even hard enough to yeah. get past that track. I think he just he kind of slow rolled it. Right. He didn't think. About it. Contact, but because it was so close to the rail, he's, he kind of hopped off the rail and scratched. I'm trying to find a score for Melissa Herndon. That game might be over. Oh, yeah, it might be. There's no score up there. I'm going to go ahead and say Melissa Herndon. 7 1 winner. 7 1 over Davey Redman. That's a great. <laughs> There you go, kid. I was wondering when you were going to do that. I was just going to tell you, I don't know how these kids can play with sweatshirts and jackets. And stuff. Oh, wait, wait, I'm hitting balls and stuff. Spence getting loose. That's a big trend. Like, um, when I did play my little pool that I did play, I was an earphone guy, too. I like the music. You know what? I've yeah. been on the fence about that. Because I, I, I got to get something like these kids got nowadays where it's not dragging a wire right. all the way yeah. down in my pocket. You get the Bluetooth. Get a Bluetooth. All right, James. <coughs> Shoot this one pass of eight and float over for the two. Yes. Look or at off that. The Look at that. Yeah, job. but he's treetopped here. Well, he's treetopped and he has to draw the ball back to get to the three. Right. Oh, we're in for a great shot here. Yeah, but I mean, there's a really a benefit going for this ball. Yeah, I think we're ducking. Like you said, he has to hit. Look, even if he makes yeah. it, he's playing it safe on the three. He's yeah, not shooting. He might as well play tough. it safe and control it. Exactly. Either way you went to go hit that ball, it was tough action. Right. The thing about this this two ball, either way you go to it, getting back to that three ball is nothing easy. Woo! Well, that's what we're gonna see a lot of. Yeah, right? this is a shootout. This yeah. is a shootout. Right? I like it. These kids, there is no <laughs> I mean? Dominguez. Uh, thin the ball, three rails safe, parking right. behind with Tim all. They're, they're, right. This, this is a shootout. <laughs> no, I'm going to shoot you out. This is your five-minute warning to forfeit. Nelson Coyle to table two, five minutes to forfeit. Nelson Coyle to table two, five minutes to See, because that may have looked like a safety, but he was trying to cut that in. Right. He was trying to cut that in. <laughs> wow, I hate to see somebody forfeit out. Second round, man. Second round? Mm -hmm. Hopefully he's got some friends in here that can call him. Yeah. A little uncharacteristic for my man Spence Latin right there. Yeah. Remind me to ask him about that later. Because <laughs> <laughs> Spence doesn't. Let's go. What do you see here, James? I mean, at four seven o'clock, that we'd be looking to break this out now. It's kind of. I mean, you got a ton of distance to travel. Yeah, he he just put himself in prison. Now he's gonna sneak out a little bit, but he's got no <laughs> shot. Got furlough. I mean, you definitely. I probably would go for a break out there, but he's still got a ton of ton to travel. I don't try to get wherever he tried to get. I right. try to slide it down the rail and go into the seven. Right. Kick the four towards the corner pocket. He went for it, and the thing is, 
you know, these guys go for these shots to leave very unorthodox positions. Well, either way here, this is nothing easy. No. I think I just banked the four down table and try to put the cue ball behind the nine. Bank the cue ball straight back down table, the four ball back down table, one pocket style. Actually, he can cut the same with high English on the four, just go to just short of the corner pocket and come back around. dead in line for the five. Speaking of speaking of one pocket. Here we go. He's drawing this though. It's nasty style. He's gonna come with another one here. Mm-hmm. But that's exactly what you said. It's gonna be tough. Until somebody can get on the, in the groove. We're just pocketing balls. Right. If not, you just you, you're gonna be fighting. And you know it's funny, you know, the, the young kids they, they just stand there with the cue waiting. They don't sit. <laughs> they just hang out. Waiting to jump on them. They actually control Whitey really good, they just miss the ball. Not a problem with this. I mean, this is nothing easy. Again, Going say, for the bank see, here. That's what I'm saying. It's a shootout. These guys, again, Oscar, me, Rodney would have been the right side of the fine ball, two rails, and yeah. the cue ball back down table. Oh, he almost hit that ball real good. Yeah, but the only thing he almost did was sell out. <laughs> I think you got away with it. I ain't no go. He's 17, man. Oh, no, no, I know, I know, I know. No, I, I got know, you. No, no, no. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I got you. Got you. But you just can't, you can't be a shooter. You're a shooter right. all the time. Right. Right. It's like punch or boxer. Just like everything. The defense wins games. I mean, the defense wins matches. Running out's cute. You win, you win your games. Yeah. Deep, the guy who's going to play the more safeties is going to win the match. Yeah. Man, he almost put that ball in that little slot. <laughs> really good. All right, here again. I, I'm I'm with you because we're going to see a lot of this because these tips are not wide open. You know, no. they have to. He's actually work. supposed to shoot this one. There's really no safety here. Okay. He's supposed to shoot at this one. Last one, I don't think he was supposed to shoot at. Okay, you got to try and play safety. Slice and dice. So I trust me with these two guys shooting ability. Yeah. Once they learn the safety aspect, oh, oh my it's gonna goodness. be good. Well, I I just want you to know that um, <laughs> you have another job now. What's that? Now that um, Rahan has his own stream. What's my other job? Doing what you doing now? Exactly. Co-pilot. <laughs> Our your first job might be Oscar and Rodney. Oh really? Oh, you don't want? Oh, you don't like that job? I kind of know both of them. I kind of know a little something about both of them. A little bit. I only played Rodney for about seven and a half hours the other night. <laughs> what do you do here, James? You, uh, you ducking? Oh, you, know, you got to duck. You got to duck. It's a simple duck. That's not the simple duck, though. He's looking to get under the nine. Didn't he have just a bank stop shot? Yeah. Two rail banks, eight, stop the cue ball behind the tent. Sometimes though you get there and you, and you don't, you know, you don't see it. Man, I was looking straight down this guy's stroke. It was pretty straight. Oh yeah. That's what I said, what's his, 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 especially James, he's like, Young. I mean, I know Spencer's yeah. young too, but he's got more yeah. playing in the Mavs. Yeah. But as soon as he learns, Ooh, what a boy. shot that was. That's that a good was shot a great right shot. there. Good speed, good shot. Yeah. Like you said, with that straight 
arm. Yeah, he yeah, it was straight. Once he lined up, it was it was perfect. Yeah. I watched him from the back. It was dead straight. There you go. One one. <clears throat> See if we any updates available what we got here. Everybody making moves. A bunch of good matches started. Santo Samahone up 5-4 over Nesto. Sayonara Kashima Hill 3 over John Ferguson. Omar Bajani 5-0 over Mike Meeker. Two Hill Hill matches. Mark mm -hmm. Anthony Barbara Hill Hill against Dan Kaufman and Steve Register and Aldo Mendoza both at right. Hill. Steve Register takes great pictures. Check them out. Yes. Snap.com. We're gonna we're gonna see another hammer here. <laughs> Gotta give it all I got. <laughs> I do gotta admit though, I'm breaking like these guys today. I have a master. No. I just just started just studying. Loose, break. Well, I just started studying Oscar's break. Mm -hmm. That's a good. Like I said, I played with seven and a half hours of Rodney that night, and I think. Yeah. Maybe 40% of the time I park the cube. Yeah. Gotta park it. No problems on this table here. Get in line, stay in line. Uh, I guess if you want to call it a problem, the three to the four. Three to four? Yeah. Well, that's only if you want to call it a problem. <laughs> I think it's a bigger problem now. Well, he, the young guys like shooting, so I'm sure he's finding a nice little way to get out of it. Yeah, but I was just going to say, you got to force the ball. you got to pump it in and fly the cue ball around the table. And you gotta hit it up. Hit if he like just ball. spins that one more and gets on the right side, oblivious. Just get on the right side. Nice little jump shot here. Air Spencer coming up. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa! What a shot that Whoa. was right there. That was pretty. <laughs> that was pretty nasty right there. Hey, see Henry, that's um Brendan Crockett's playlist. So that's Brendan Crockett running the jukebox, buddy. Yeah, that old guy is Desiree, too. I'll make sure <laughs> I'll tell her that. I left him wide open. So I got a question for you. It was up in the, in the chat of Johnny and Oscar's match the other night. So you're in the heat of battle. You're, 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 you're fighting for the money. Your opponent misses a, a fairly easy routine seven ball, and you jump out of your seat to go shoot. Is that disrespectful or not disrespectful? It don't matter. It's my turn. Correct. It doesn't matter. I agree with that. I don't yeah. see any disrespect in it at all. It's, it's just, you're in the heat of battle. It's my shot. I'm coming to the table. You jump up and, <laughs> and I, you know, I can do a backflip. Right. A lot of guys take their time getting back to the table. When you miss. And that table, it's over. It's yeah, my table. It's my inning. I'm ready to go. Yeah, I'm not a disrespectful player. I, I get it. But check it out. There's tactics in all games. Oh, yeah. If you can't take the heat, don't get in the kitchen. I agree. I just want to see your input because yeah. I said the same thing. I, said, oh, I don't yes. find it disrespectful at all. You're in the it's heat my of turn. It's my turn. <laughs> I'm shooting for my cheese. Yeah. I, lucky I don't go Don King on you. Have the <laughs> dancing girls come out every time they come to shot. <laughs> <laughs> Only in America. Only in America. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow, wow what a 
he would have just hit that ball. That was good right there. <laughs> he actually overhit it. Yeah, he did. That was a strong. But he hit the eight so clean. You know what I like though? It's like these guys, uh, the young, kids, they're like look at, look at, two or three this, lessons this, away. For example, he's called the kick out of the line. You know what I mean? No, they're like a, a, a Rodney Morris, Salvi Terra, Ernesto in their earshot away right. from turning into like a Bergman or something. Yes. You know what I mean? And he hit that ball so good. And then he goes and does that instead of just playing. I mean, you can even play what we can just, try and call it. A, yeah. A, 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 a non professional save. save. <laughs> an easy save. Just roll up on the just ball. Just roll up on the ball. Yeah, just double click it. Boy, Spencer was scratched from the side pocket with one hand. Get the point. <laughs> Maybe Spence trying to line up his game here. I like that. That was good. The 2-1. Took his time on that one. You know what I mean? Ladies and gentlemen, if anybody just joined us, the Brandon Crocker Memorial. Remembering somebody gone too soon. Good Way kid. too soon. Good kid, man. And his brother. R.I.P. to both of them. Both of them. Family. Yeah. Much love. And it, but it's good to see Callie come and sh show up for the kid. You know? I love it. I got a good one. I told Sal when I first met him. Brendan said... And what's our game, Mr. Hannah? And I said, Parcheesi. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, I'm going to come and, and join you in the booth. I said, sure. He got in the booth and he said, that's pretty tough. I'm going to go hit some balls. <laughs> he did a great job, though. The kid is good. All right, solid break by Spencer. Losing the cue ball here a little bit. Yeah, that cue ball went four rails. Yeah. Um, anybody have a fire extinguisher? NBA Jam Boys. She's I on fire! I can't take all the credit. He really did not do well he, what he should. He just put a four pack on his other opponent. Maybe? Yeah. Well, uh, he didn't put four balls together. Maybe it's because I came out swinging like the first two rounds. <laughs> you can be. I think my first ride put such a price next to the rest of my ride because I don't get out. I don't mind. I get out and I get up with a 10. Yeah, I get a 10. Yeah, I get a 10. Alright. And he's going to leave it wide open. So now James has a good chance here. He's got to play a 2 3 combo, but he's wide open here. This kid had some lessons because he's sweet. Johnny. And did, was he playing the eight ball there? Did he call the eight or was he playing safe? Nah, he, he just called safe. He called safe? Yeah. See so that right there, Spencer, that's the knowledge of playing on this mess that's tour exactly, for two sessions, two that's, seasons. That's exactly what that is. Because he doesn't give up any opportunity there. What's the best play here, James? You know what? I don't really see a kick at it, so you got to tie something up here. That's what I'm talking about. I'm always looking to tie something up. Yeah, you want to tie something up here and make the, uh, because, I mean, even if you are the jump this, you're just playing to hit the ball. Exactly. I guess he can clip the left side of the one. He can come two rails back down by this traffic. That's insane. But these, these, these here we go. He didn't call the eight or anything, did he? No. That's oh. what he tried to do. He tried oh. to hit the, <laughs> oh, <that was>, <laughs> <laughs> He tried to hit the left side of the one to come two rows yeah. down there. Yeah, he did. And now Spencer Spencer's knows he's gonna have to play a two-three combo. So he might as well get close. Jonathan Alpine, table three. Table 19. 
Bet she's playing a 10 ball. Isn't there three balls in the way? Damien Alshin. No. Damien Alshin and Steve Register Shot on him. Oh, he, he scratches. Look at that. He better hope that 10 doesn't sit up in the pocket. No, he kind of. Well, he can shoot ball down on the two on the side. Never mind. I'm looking at the table. The camera is yeah. a whole lot easier. <laughs> It'll get you. Because so, the table looks like the two is on top of the six. Right. <laughs> Prime opportunity here, James. Stop shot. Three in a corner. He tree tops himself. No, I, I, sometimes I think these gentlemen think uh, treetop is good for them. He's like, I'm tall. I'm not worried. He rolled that ball in good and he stayed down. You're shooting this combo, bro. Mm. I'm scared. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm scared, James. I'm shooting safe here. He changed his mind. Looks like he's shooting safe. Oh, no. He went for opposite corner. He's going to get away with it. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, no, he didn't get away with it. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, he did. Tired. Four don't go, ten don't go. Actually, no. I can't see the rail, but Brendan might be able to kick behind the four and, and spin into the ten. I know. I was thinking. I was like... Do you think he has some room here? Okay. Yeah. Um, Spence does that. You can tell that he plays with the big boys. Oh, yeah. That's the... I love the, the kid's demeanor. You know what I mean? I just love it. He just gets up there and he shoots his shot. He, that, this guy, James, you can tell. He, you want an orange or anything? Or some goldfish? I like both of them. You know, they just they go after it. You know what I mean? Well, James definitely going to go after it now because Spencer just sold out the four ball. And uh, that seven goes by the nine in the side pocket. This could be over. Right. But you see what I mean? The kid just, he... Oh, he floated too much. Right. Floated. But it's just, like, he, he's doing the first parts of it good. He just needs the other part. Who's he shooting with? He's going to bank the five, or he's cutting it in. Cutting in the five and get down on the six. Does he shoot with a Revo? Yeah, that's a Revo. I thought they weren't for sale yet. No, they've been for sale. Have they? Yeah. What's, oh, it's something different. Never mind. Yeah, we got a buddy back at home shoots with Revo. Everybody makes good equipment. Everybody makes good And right. Brian actually had to test out the theory about it. you cannot dent it. He slammed it against the edge of the table. <laughs> and I mean slammed it. I want something I can't break. Because I'm a whack. It's good. Mini. Mini fish. That's what they call me. Wow, he put a ton of juice on that ball. Why? So he could shoot the six and the seven inside. He could have ball in hand. He could have just rolled up. Maybe he didn't have ball in hand. Now that I think about it, I don't think he had ball in hand. Right. Spencer, pace is picking up. Miss who won between Ernesto and Santos. Yes, we do. But she's been calling out loser side matches, so I'm going to go out on the limb and see Ernesto. On the one blow side? Yes. Dominic? Oh, and Dan Hoffman, table 16. Dominic O oh, and Dan Hoffman, table 16. Come get your racket. 
I think if Spencer doesn't get the right angle on this, he can get that angle where you do the slow spin and go two rep, one, two, and back out for the 10. If he doesn't get straight, or he can get a nice little one rep. I don't know if this draw shot is correct. I agree. Yeah. Definitely a two rail shot there. I like rail first on that too. Yeah. These young kids never see so many. What a great shot that was. That was a great shot. And smart shot on the eight ball, then I guess, because he just took the shot. He didn't try to force maybe it. That, he didn't or try to. Maybe that's it. He just said, I can make it from there. And he just showed everyone he could. That was beautiful. Spence Ladin pulls ahead. Sometimes when you're sitting back there and you really can't see what's going on, you don't know. Right, so you're probably right. You probably just say, you know what, I'm not going to try to get yeah, it. Yeah, I'm positive that's what you did. I'm not going to try to stroke it. I'm not going to try to spin it. I can shoot it from there. Anybody out there who wants to uh, donate to the Brendan Crockett Scholarship Foundation, it's www.brendancrockett.org. That's when you can send your donations. So, you know, let's let's give any donation. Yeah, any donation helps. Yeah, yeah. Send some love to the kids. You can even donate raw stroke if you want to. But you, Lord knows he needs one. <laughs> right, James? See, so still being a shooter, he tried to cut that all the way down the table. Right. That's all he needs. He's got all these balls down here. He's just banked them. Would you like to say bank the one towards the Brunswick? Right. Send the cue ball back up table. Safety here by Spence Ladder. Looking to duck behind this nine ball. Look at this shot. Look at that speed. Oh, he almost oh, got man. That. He almost ginned him. That would have been a good shot. Let's see if James plays safe. We're trying to go for this bank right back at him. Right. There we go. He's saying, You're going to play safe on me. I'm going to start playing safe on you. Exactly. It's about trying to get control of the table. So I like to say banking the two to the corner by the five and put you behind the big cluster. Yes, but he hit it short. Both aspects. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, I love coming down here to San Diego. I get a job down here, this is a new residence. It's always a good time. What a shot. Wow. What a shot. That was beautiful. Great shot. Thank you. Oscar, right, what's going on, buddy? What's happening, Captain? What is happening? Watching the young guns shoot it out. It's lovely. I love it. Isn't it great? Yeah. These young kids, I mean, first of all, they're like, they're under 18 and they both look like adults. I mean, I don't know what they're feeding them nowadays. Yeah, they're big. They're big, big dudes, yeah. yeah. We should probably put a basketball in their hand instead of the pool cue. <laughs> <laughs> 
Put a football in Spencer's. Yeah, exactly. Spence, Spence Ladin is, is growing by the day. Yeah, he's like a size 14 shoe or something ridiculous. I told you, Spence is that kid, and he'd be like, remember me? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Just picked you up. <laughs> Might be a collector one Right? Remember, remember you, you called me Bigfoot? <laughs> Talk about my stroke. It's good to see these kids out. No, it's, no, I love it. I, I love it. This is what it's I like. Not much kids left. No new players coming out. Mm -hmm. and it's like we're we're becoming dinosaurs. We're getting more and more extinct. It's nice to see the young guns coming. Meanwhile, out. Russia and everybody see the billiard brothers, the oh, young yeah. kids posting up. Yeah. yeah, they're doing a good job of promoting themselves. Absolutely. And uh, it's awesome. No, I love it. I love it, man. Shout out to them. I was actually talking to Fedor not too long ago online. We're chatting. I'll give you the chair. What? Oh no no, I have to go back to work. But yeah, if you want to go, go take a break. Let's get out. Melissa will cut. Okay, Melissa, Melissa will come in. So you're talking to Fedor? Yeah, I was talking line. to Fedor, and he was talking about you know he wants to get sponsored by Predator. I'm like, absolutely, you're supposed to get sponsored by Predator. You're a kid, you know. Anybody who promotes himself like that gives. The kid's good. I mean, the kid's an unbelievable player, first of all. Right. You know what we're talking about? Fedor Gorsh. No. Yeah. A Russian kid. I mean, this kid plays so good. He plays like a Konstantin Stepanov speed, and he's only 17 years old. I think he probably plays better than Stepanov. The guy plays good, man. Shout out to my man, Maxime Dudenetz. Oh, yeah, Dudenetz. Dudenetz. He's my man. Great player. Another yeah. great player. Yeah, those, those guys play. The Polish kids are playing real strong, too, right now. All of them. You know, Spence Latin digging in, looking formidable here. Yeah. These, kids, these kids are gaining good experience here playing on Knowledge. the tour. Knowledge. That way, when they go to play the Atlantic Cup, and they go play out these Amen. monster players, they can pull their own. Exactly. Because those kids are playing the Euro Tour. Oh, that, that's why they play them. That's why they're playing so good. Of course. I mean, how would you like to play Rob Sokay and Niels Fake and Nick Vandenberg over and over and over again? You're going to pick something up. I mean, you have no choice but to improve. Absolutely. Or take up croquet. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Go hungry real quick. Right? Look at Spence Ooh. letting the stroke out. Look at that. Table a little bit. The table's super fast. Yeah, a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of people got overrolling balls. You shouldn't really do that very often. Right. That's the thing with Spence that I've, you know, been working on is it's impossible to control because you know he's got so much energy. You know, he's got so much. Pool's not a energetic game. You have yeah. to maintain composure and rhythm. Right. Put yourself in the right mindset. Exactly. Simple game, simple game. Me and Bo Run can talk about that. So I was going to say, it's good for kids to learn discipline. Yes. This yes. Game. Oh, yes, this game will teach you discipline. Look out. Look out. Mm. That happens. Yeah. You learn, kid. Yeah. Yeah. That's all right. I mean, but that's, that's what pool is for the young ones. Highs and lows, and the thing is, they just they shrug it off. Yeah. No big deal. It's just a game. I got to bounce back. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna go back and help Desiree with the okay, right hand. There you go. Maybe feed her or something. There you go. Oh. All right. All right. Oh. Hold on. Where you want your purse? Alright, James to break here. Alright, what is the score? Three to two? Three to two. Now how old is this James Hindor? Seventeen? Oh look at these two. I know, right? It's a battle of the babies. Love it. And these guys will look back on it on this match, um, you know. When they're, when, they're, when they're big guys and they'll be like, remember we used to hang out and play? <laughs> I told you, man. 
this is how long, long like lifelong friendships are made. Yeah, this absolutely. kind of thing. Getting into the trenches together. Yep. I we have, have uh, Tyler Steyer here from Wisconsin and the way he knew Brendan was through the junior the juniors program. Yeah. They went to World's Day there a couple of times. Shout out to the D E F and E R B F. I I have lifelong friends I made from pool back home. I mean, we were young and I couldn't play a lick, but I had a bunch of buddies that played good, and we just hung out all the time, and it's, we still friends. Yeah. I actually had somebody in uh, Duluth hit me up, said, "Did you used to play over here?" I was like, "Yeah." He said, "I don't, I don't super remember him, but he knows everybody I know, so he had to be around." So, big boy pool, bank the two across, slide the two under four and nine or something. I mean, you got the everything to kind of stop it there. That's mm -hmm. the problem. Though, is it does leak out if you don't get behind something. Right. But I've seen this is still kind of a mess down here at the end of the table. So, but I've seen on this table a lot of people not controlling the speed. Yeah, I was hitting balls on this table to warm up, and it was a little, it was a little tricky. It was I tricky. Was, I'd hit something, and I thought I hit it perfect speed, and it would roll an extra five, six inches. I was kind of surprised. Somebody we were talking, um, I think it was Laurie John. Laurie John said, um, I'd like to see the European team play on the old school cloth, nice and slow. I said, it'll just take longer for them to win. <laughs> I, the I, they saying it's, it's easier to stroke the ball on some others I, I feel like, I feel like that's a, it's, it's, I mean, it's a valid thing, but I feel like when people say things like that, you know, it's, 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 um, I feel like it's a, it might be a little bit degrading to the Europeans. The Europeans put in a lot of work into their games, right? Correct. I mean, Americans, we play on Simonas too. So you could say the same thing, that they would struggle in the exact same way on old fuzzy cloth with clay ball. You know what I mean? But uh, <laughs> the European juniors, the European... They have a good... Adults, they, they have, have a good them. program. They put in a lot of work. They take it seriously. You know, they take their health seriously, they work out, they eat right. Agreed. You playing a nine here? Uh, I'm not sure you can get enough of it. Thinning off the four to push it? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think he could get all of it. I think the, the four ball was covering the nine ball a little too much. You can tell this kid, James, has some instruction, and if he gets the rest of it, he's going to be super dangerous. Yeah, I was watching him hit balls, and I thought, like, his safeties, his kicking and stuff was... Uh, I don't think he got there. Maybe he did. But uh, is is good. It's good. Yeah. He just misses balls a little bit too much. Right. His body hasn't learned all those angles, styled them all in yet. Spencer had a good shot there by kicking the ball and stopping it. And he got an unfortunate that the four ball ran, yeah, ran into the six. He would have been stuck. He would have been stuck. So, Melissa, everybody that came to the booth, I put him under the gun. Tell me a, a funny Brendan story. I got a couple. All right, hit me. <laughs> trying to think of the funniest one that's clean. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> okay, so we were driving back from from La Mesa, from a, a Mez stop here at uh, on Q one day, and uh, we stopped at a gas station to get gas, and uh, Brendan went into the, the little store that they have there, mm -hmm. right, and I guess he went to the restroom, I don't know, but we also went into the store, but he didn't see us come in, so he thought we were still out in the car. So I go walking out. Um, and I see him running kind of across the parking lot, the, the gas station thing, and he's doing this funny run, and what he calls it is a Mugatu run from, from Zoolander. It's a super goofy, like, run. And he goes running across the thing like that, but he goes up to another blue SUV. <laughs> he thought he was running at us, when he ran up to a perfect stranger's car and was like, wah, in their window. <laughs> and then I turned around and I said, I yelled at him, from behind him, what are you doing? And he turns around and he looks all 
shocked. <laughs> he, he, was, he was so goofy like that. He was just he thought he was having a bit of fun with us. And meanwhile, he scared, he probably, him, right? scared the piss out of some lady in a car. <laughs> what are you doing? Good times. All right, James had the opportunity here. Not a good one, <laughs> I gotta tell you. This is a tough shot off the rail. He's jacking up, so he's gotta watch that scratch at the side. And even if he'd made it, he drew it back too far. So, but he, Spencer may make him shoot again. Spence isn't Spencer fully doesn't like the four? Oh, sorry, the four, I was looking at the five. Yeah, yeah, Spencer's not gonna make him shoot again. <laughs> <laughs> will be no shooting again. There will be no, no option. I'm going to guess James told the one where Brendan said, you're saving my life, bro. Right? No. No? Oh, okay. What story did James tell? Mm, he said something else. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to remember the specifics, but I had Sal tell one. Uh, tell me that one. No, no, no. I let James tell it. Yeah. Right, slice and dice. He stood up on that shot a little bit too, right? The other one I'll tell is is uh, it's, it's more embarrassing for me than it is for him. So one day he uh, he had an action match and he asked me if I would come down and um, practice with him so that he could get warmed up. And I said sure. And I got there and uh, I said. I said, I'm here, and I'm I'm here to be your fluffer. And he said, he looked at me and like just turned bright red, and he said, what'd you say? And I said, I'm here to be your fluffer. And he goes, do you know what a fluffer is? And I said, no. I said, I mean, I think I do. I said, I think it's like a, you know, like I'm like a boxing or a tennis, like your warm up partner. Right. Your warm up partner. Apparently, that is not the definition of a fluffer. That is not. And uh, I basically had to have a 21 year old tell me that. And <laughs> I was pretty embarrassed, and he. He said, don't ever mention this again. And I said, I will not, but I, I can now. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, Spence, I have a chance to get out here, Melissa. Any problems? No. Well, yeah, if you missed the ball, it's a problem. But I was going to say, it's actually kind of, it, it was a touchy, touchy little out. You had to be good on the on the eight ball and I thought there was a chance he might, you know, run into the ten or leave himself mm -hmm. jacked up on the ten. Uh, He's banking. I did not think he could see enough of it to bank it. He better watch the scratch here. Right? He better watch the scratch here. Yeah. So, you know, if he's if he's trying to learn and pay attention at the same time, he'll know now he cannot draw that ball and bank like that. Right, because it's gonna go right out. Yeah, that's gonna go right in. The proper route besides this little three stop out. Sometimes I see people try to manufacture themselves closer to the 10 ball. So it's like you just accept shooting that 10 and out of the corner, right? Yeah, I mean, you can go you can go forward here. You can go forward here and shoot the eight in the opposite corner. And if you get the right angle, what'll happen is your cue ball will kind of be running into that 10 ball. So if you give yourself the right angle, I prefer to be on the other side of this, on the, on the other side of the eight ball. Right. That way, my cue ball's going into the ten, and that way, I can use the ten as a stopper if I overrun it or if I don't get the position. But this works too, except now he's oh, he's not. All right. He's got to use the bridge. He's got to kind of bridge over there. I don't know. I prefer to leave myself an angle on the nine and either come, you know, forward and go two rails around or one, two, three rails around the 10 or just uh, right. back and forth. Right. Now he's got to basically shoot the 10 in the... Uh, yeah. I'm with the buddy hall. Don't play position when you got position. Yeah. Right. He could have stopped that and just shot the 10 straight up the rail yeah, he, and be able to really just He's very capable soft of making it. About, yeah. yeah. Now you got to do a little something. You got a little tester. And this is the kind of ball that will hang if you don't hit it clean. Right. Oh. <laughs> Wiped his feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wiggled no, you're that right. in. Yeah, it was you're a three-year-old right. bank. I didn't know. <laughs> I don't think he had a clue either, but, you know, he did the right thing. Kept his head down and shot the ball. So, listen, this is a two-day tournament, right? 
Uh, yeah. Yeah, with almost 90 players. Almost 90. Oh, okay. I mean, really, honestly, this this was put together in about a month because yeah. uh, you know life happens and does. That's where we went and got herself knocked up a little bit. And mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, she's a little knocked up. <laughs> so you know, like you get a little busy, and we we're like, no, we so we got to make this happen. We got to make this a reality. Right. And so. Um, Maybe like a month ago, I talked to them and said, "Let's look at our schedule and figure it out." And this is the date we came up with. Yeah. And uh, ninety, almost ninety players, or right at ninety players on, on thirty days notice, is it's amazing. That's strong. Yeah. Shout out. Such Very a high. such a thank you to the room owner Clyde on Cube Billiards. We love this room anyway. Yeah. To all of the sponsors who you know helped us out and made this possible. And it's really a special treat for you know his family to know that Brendan is still missed and honored by oh, yeah. his his cool family. That's a, absolutely, absolutely. And he would have loved every minute of this tournament. Oh, for sure. Definitely sweating it. Ooh. All right, James. Pocket. We need to just find himself a pocket for the three ball. I did not see the two ball down there. Yeah. Well, he may try to bank at this. He might swing. Yep. Stop ball. He's got right there a position on the four ball. Just don't hit it a thousand miles an hour. Actually, hit it perfect speed. He sure did. Safe. Sure that I was gonna say if that ball doesn't roll, Spence is gonna be looking at the back of the nine ball. It's got about a half ball jump here. Here's what I can't do because I'm only five five. Alright, this is a tester because that three, these, these side pockets are a little tighter than mm-hmm. on the stream you can see it's not in a good position, but you can play it off the floor. Yeah. Mm. Just came a little high. Yeah. Well he, he hit the he didn't hit it before he hit the rail first. All right, this is a chance for Spence here. Unfettered opportunity. <laughs> it's a strong tournament here today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just letting you know. Yeah. Some heavy hitters in the house. We're missing a couple of that I thought uh, Max Abelet was going to call. Somebody had told me. Um, I know that you know Vivian wanted to be here, but at the last minute got called back to Florida for something. But Vivian, Mia Real was going to be here, and uh, Mika had expressed. And Mika had played Brendan, talked to Brendan, who liked him a lot. Just really thought he was a, a proper kid and uh, with a lot of talent. And Mika wanted to be here, but had already been to the China Open. Yeah. So I think next year, you know, we find the right dates and everything. We can oh, really get a, a, yeah. a monster you get superstar a more, field. You get a superstar field more than 96 too if you want. Oh yeah, I think next year we'll probably definitely open it up to 128. Yeah. And uh, look at uh, pumping up the added money. Ooh. I'm gonna go conservative and say we're gonna look at you know 7,500, but uh, I'd like to make it 10,000. Mm. You make it 10,000, and you need to make it a. <laughs> spectacle. A celebration. Anything we're at is a spectacle, Rob Rock. This is for sure. <laughs> we, we are a spectacle. Know. That's right. I'm not respectable. <laughs> respectable. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Spence bumped that ball, and now he's in trouble. He's, uh, yeah. he's looking to just cut this ball and come to the inside top pocket and spin back there. That's going to be tough. He's, he's, tough. He's, he's just going to smack it. Yeah, he's going to try and draw to the long rail here with like inside, come across. There you go. He hit it good. He just yes, missed the ball. Did. But that's exactly the cue ball that he wanted to do. Yeah. It's amazing how they know all those shots. Yeah. 
You know, they watch you guys shoot over and over and over. Pull that right. He cut the paint off that ball. He sure did. Wow. But that's going to cost him that game. Yeah, I can't imagine Spencer not getting out here. Unless he scratches his side pocket. Yeah. Oof. You see, I, I think this is a lesson for Spencer to understand. Like, he knows what to keep up. You got to take more care. Yeah. You, it's sometimes you can't just, especially when when your cue ball's going in an area where there's a pocket, you can't just say I want to land in this area. Right. You really have to not, say I need to hit the second time or the third. I, I needed to come in like specifically and then take care to make that happen. I agree. All right, we have Larry Bond. 3-2 over Nelson Coyle, Scott White, 3-1 over Jonathan Albe, Joseph Leon, 1-0 over John Ferguson. Oh, I'm supposed to go. Sorry. Victor <laughs> Ignacio, 4-2 over Vika Luli. Mm -hmm. Vika Luli. Todd Miller and Justin Marks just teeing it up at 0-0. Kelly Lynn and Gail De Chavez. Gail's leading 4-3. Shout out to Kelly Lynn and Mike Lynn. Yes, yes. Uh, Sean O'Connor and Sean O'Connor. Sean O'Connor. Sean, <laughs> Sean, Sean O'Connor and Reed Fleming, 3-3. Three, three. Michael Robinson, DC. I don't know how to say it. DeSico. I like it. It's 2-1. Uh, right. Michael Robinson's leading. And uh, Eric Folsom, Jerry, Jason Mary, just starting at 0-0. Zero, zero. We got Brandon Harris at 1-2. Down to Mary Kaufman. Terry Clary, 6-1 over Kelly Darmody. Ernesto Dominguez, 4-1 over Mark Griffin. Paul Ewing, 2-1 over Bob DePosche. Mike Rogers and Mike Lynn, all even at three apiece. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say Mike's going to win that match. I, I, I'm going to have to bet you that. All right. All right, Dominic Orejudos and Dan Kaufman, 1-1. Dan Peterson, Dave Martin, now 0-0. Tony Castro and Jaden Brock. Hill, hill. Jaden fought hill. back. He was down. Steve Register up 2-0 over Damon Alishon. Chris Santana, 6-4 over Michael Campos. I didn't know Chris could play pool. <laughs> Sabi so, Terry, what's going on, bro? I don't know, man. We got some Venturi coming action up there, man. That's what I'm talking hey. about. Baby, let's see. Send him to the left side. <laughs> I, don't, I don't take all the credit on that one. He helped me a little bit. I take, take all the help I can get. Right? I think actually it's Ross' fault because Ross had over here like told Damien like gave him like a little muscle look like she's gonna come after you blah blah blah. I think Ross here. Sure did. Yeah. No lie. I was ice grilling him. <laughs> All right, Spence Laden, comfortable deed here. Yeah. You want a tangerine? Making moves. Do you want a tangerine? Thank you. Trying to cut down. <laughs> drop on, it in the, on drop little it. tiny fruits? Can you drop it in the vodka or something? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can infuse it. <laughs> All right. down? Spence with the kickstick. I want you to know I had a little girl over at Subway. She You've already walk. told me this story, Grandpa. She, she comes walking in and she's like, her hair is all blonde and she got little frosted blue tips and she's mm -hmm. like, we match, we match. I'm like, you're right, girl. We match, we do match. <laughs> and her dad was like, get this guy away from us. You got, you showed a picture of, to the world of, oh yeah, you did earlier. Really. About uh, Sal's work in the, the blue goatee. It doesn't belong to you. Turn it into the that's right. I'm going full rainbow. I guess with yellow and orange. Full rainbow. <laughs> full rainbow. You never go full rainbow. I'm pretty sure I'm done. Full yeah. rainbow? <laughs> He's going full rainbow? No, you can't go full rainbow. Nobody ever goes full rainbow. <laughs> All right. Now, Melissa. Now, three, seven Barbara. here. Now, myself. I've seen the fancy guys go rail first, push to three, make the seven, and leave the three in the corner. I think the combo just goes. And he how does he control? So he gives you a little drawback? So he doesn't play the, the yeah, seven. Yeah, three ball's going it, to... It's tough. I was going to say the three ball hits the seven, goes into the rail, and pops back out to the middle of the table. So if he'd hit it a little softer, he might have a better shot, but he could play safe here. Sometimes Spencer shoots too fast for me to be able to say anything. Like, yeah, I'm like, Spence okay, gets and Spence that's not what happened. Up. He fires. He's going to put him on the back of that nine ball. Look at this guy. 
And he did a really good job there, making sure, for example, that, that, that he didn't that, he, that three ball wasn't going to go in the side, that he wasn't going to hook himself right. by accidentally pocketing the three ball. Right. And that's, <laughs> th that demeanor that he showed right there, the restraint, if he shows that in the rest of his game, yeah. that he's going to be really dangerous. Now, unfortunately, he hit the three ball maybe a little too hard and it popped over. It's but, close. Uh -oh. You don't want that 10 to duck up. I guess he's gonna go for this. Three yeah. ten? Yeah. He's not just gonna shoot the Is this viable? He can run out here. Yeah, he can. I'm not shooting a three ten at this juncture. Well I don't think Spence has to. If anything, you wanna shoot a three ten, then safe him to the side of the four and put the three by the that ball really. Right yeah. And then to try and get the then, three ten the yes. next one. Problem yeah. when you when something like that happens is that that person could always kick in the three ten. Yeah. Right? Right, yeah. You just want to go ahead and take a shot at it. Yeah. I think Spence feels like he's up 5-2. Uh, what he's seeing is that um, his opponent is not necessarily going to run out. So he feels comfortable maybe taking a flyer. Took a, took a chance, right? Yeah, yeah. No. It's not understood. But this uh, James, he makes balls. He makes balls. He, yeah, he's not that far away for being dangerous. I don't know whose who's, uh, tutelage he's under, but he plays with somebody who plays for him. Tutelage? Whoa. Oh, snap. My bad. Whoa. That's it. <laughs> Calling you the Oxford Dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> under the auspices. <laughs> auspices? Wow. I don't want to have to show too much. All right, right? Stick to my ghetto grammar. <laughs> I was like, mm, did you read that in the script? Do you even know what it means? No. <laughs> you don't know what that means. But you just heard it. You heard it from somebody else. All right. Table 12. Sam Kim, Mike Baker. Table 12. What do you like here? And you thin it off the three, going two rails back down table. Yeah, I'm going to thin it and kind of leave it right there by the nine, exactly mm -hmm. like this. But he wanted to not use spin on. Well, look. He uh, he, he got a little bit of a roll in that one. But if you don't use if you don't use as much spin, it comes shorter on the on the long rail, and then kind of comes down here and lands like on the Brunswick down here, and then you're looking Brunswick to Brunswick. Right. Spencer is getting pretty good with the jump cue. Jeff, you gotta kick some of them. No, oh, this one's a jumper. Jump city. Yeah. If this was me, it's a tough kick. I'd sit that cue right on top of the three. Just soft. Yeah. Some of them shots, I just see them. Watch the scratch on the side. No. I was gonna say, for a second, it looked like he had the four ten, but. It yeah, from here, under. sitting here, yeah, it looks like it. When you under, look on right? the, on the, yeah, he could absolutely yeah. play a carom on it if he comes down, down, down table. Right. I don't know that he knows that. Uh, if he, he might, take a he look, might luck into the position, right. depending that, on where he tries to hit to right now. So the one thing I did notice that I mean I noticed a lot, but I really noticed. When uh, I watch Shane and Corey them playing this eight ball, when they're they are super deliberate about mm -hmm. where they're gonna end up and what they're gonna do. Yeah. And I think that's a good trait for some of these young players to pick up. If they want to play at a high level. You have to stop with the the randomness. You gotta tighten it up. I think you said he's seventeen. Yeah, he's seventeen. I don't, I don't know what his experience is playing on the stream. Spencer has it because he's been playing the mess tour and stuff like this. But James, James it's James, right? Yeah. James, uh, this might just be new to him. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, I, I feel like, I see him getting frustrated, so I feel like he knows he's better than what he's showing right, right. now. And um, that can be a little frustrating. Being of course. the stream is a little intimidating. Oh, no, listen. I, I, I call it how I say it. Especially on a table like this. I this table stream. can make... Ball in Good hand. players look terrible. Ball in hand, right to rail. Bloop. Now I'd be cool. Now I won't work. Like, I think I know you're a bad player anyway. Just fire away. You're an actor. Just pretend like you're a good player. Oh, yeah, it's all good. I'll just be like, <laughs> I'm Melissa Hardy. Shabam. Shabam. That's right. I want to be like 
like an old Batman cartoon, and literally go like, pow, Damn. kablooey. Damn. Every time I make a ball, just like, <laughs> whammo. That was a nice job right there. Now, he can just, he, he has the, he can put him in a smash right yeah, here. Yeah, he can play a beautiful safety yeah. right on top of that right six ball. Right on top of it, just roll with the good pace. But see, he's jumping, he's jacking up, so I, I don't know. He had the right. The right idea, yeah. wrong execution. And that's what I mean with, with somebody under the, he, they can help this guy. He'd play good. If he's already halfway understanding what mm -hmm. it takes, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's kind of hurting my heart a little bit because I feel, you know, I'm seeing him look to the sky and he, he uh, like, getting a little discouraged. Yeah. And, and uh, I just it's don't. Tough. It's tough. You know, you get up there, you I do your best. I kind of want to tell him, it's okay. You know? Everybody been through it. There's going to be a million more pool games in your lifetime if you don't give up. Yeah, that's, that's tough. It, it, you know, I think it's what you said. I think it's a stream a little bit, you know. Mm -hmm. You realize that everybody's watching you and stuff. But you know what? That might make you come back stronger. You understand? Like Kelly Clarkson says, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Absolutely. Absolutely. Trust me, sometimes you go through it. Stop falling here, Spence. Stop all here in that city. Maybe, maybe half, of, half an inch forward. Yeah, I agree. See, I don't like that. He's he's straining, or maybe with a slight angle now mm -hmm. to the to the. So now you have to draw it where before you could have just. Yeah. See, he's left himself a little bit of a funny angle on the. Right. Track. I mean, it's makeable. Instead, right, but it's, instead, it's, instead if he had, of being. If he had looked at it, just gone forward an inch. He could have easily just stroked the nine ball, and the cue ball would drifted to the ground right back out to the ten. Yeah. See, that's the thing is that those, those little extras are what what it takes for you to be a better player, yeah. I think. He didn't really have a problem. Yeah, with no, it, but you but limit you limit those yeah. things because it snowballs. I've seen it. Yeah. There's an out by Corey Dool from Duluth that is one of the most ridiculous outs I've ever seen because he did what you said. He just got a little bit out of line, then a little bit out of line, and, and he had it's to snowballs. just come with it. Yeah. It was disgusting. It was disgusting, truly. All right, let's give you guys some score updates. Like I said, this stream is going to be a little different, man. We're, we're remembering Brendan and honoring his memory, so we can tell you some anecdotes. We can tell some stories, but we can still keep it moving on the pool. Larry Bond, Nelson Coyle, 4-4. Scott White, 6-1 over Jonathan Albe. Joseph Leon, 3-0 over John, John Ferguson. Victor Ignacio, 6-3 over Vicky Luli. Todd Miller, Justin Marks, one apiece. Kelly Lynn and Gail D. Chavez, 4-4. Sean O'Connor and Reed Fleming. Reed Fleming leads 5-3. Michael Robinson up 4-1 over DC. DC go? Yeah, that's a, <laughs> <laughs> Eric Folsom up 1-0 over Jason Mary. Brandon Terrace, Mary Kaufman tied at 2-2. Sam Kim, Mike Meeker just starting. They're at 0. Uh, Ernesto Dominguez on the hill against Mark Griffin, 6-1. Paul Ewing up 3-2 over D Bob Diplache. Mike Lynn up 4-3 over Mike Rogers. Again, I'm rooting for Mike there. Mike's coming. Uh, Dan Kaufman up 2-1 over Dominic Orahudos. Oh, there's another one. David Peterson, David Martinell. Who you like? I like Dave. Dave? All right. one nothing. David Peterson. <laughs> Ray Lorenza, Joseph Hankins, 0-0. Zero zero. Steve Register up 2-1 over Damian Alishan and Brian Brown and Ashton Schaefer just starting 0-0. Zero, 0-0. Zero. Zero, zero. Damian Alishan, he hit some pretty straight. Well, you know, Damian, <laughs> Damian took some years off and has a career. And uh, but I, I'm, I'm hoping that this is, you know, he's my he's my homie. So I'm hoping that, that this kind of tournament playing in this is gonna put the back. put the fire back under him. And that plays strong when he played pool. All right, Spence going to air here. Air Spence. Yep. It's off the break. Air Spence. Yeah, he could. He could. I mean, he's comfortable, and he really only has a um, quarter, ball. quarter ball jump. Mm -hmm. Five hours. 
It's a quarter ball jump. You really don't need to jack up quite that high, I suppose. Maybe look at the land faster. I uh, thought maybe it was going to sneak by yeah. there, but no, he left James a shot. All right, it's a James. Faster. That's right. And it's tough. That's, that's what happens a lot of times when people miss in the game. They leave you tough, and you're like, ah, oh, man. Well, you could not be shooting. Mm -hmm. The game could right, be over. They didn't have to miss. Exactly. You'd be gone. Actually, I mean, I actually like not going for the ball there. And I'd have to. I wish. This is one of those where I wish we had the telestrator. Right. Because you could have hit that one ball full and tried to bank it around one, two, like three rails back up to the top of the table, and right. the cue ball would have. Uh, if you hit it with follow, would have followed the rail and followed back down behind that pack of balls. And it's like a snicker safety would have been Jamie. money. But he got a safety out of it anyway. And Spencer's looking to kick this one. No idea what he just said. It says short now. Short. Did it shorten up? No, you came long. Yeah. Right. Oh. <laughs> I had some friends in the chat room who are uh, golfing right now. Oh, Matt and, and the crew? And, uh, yes, yes, yes. And Eric. <laughs> Eric Angler. Rob. Oh. Oh, the crew. That's the crew. The crew. That's yeah. your crew. And I miss them too, because I do love my golf. <laughs> I love my one. pool. I love my golf. There you go. I love my pool and my pool. <laughs> and maybe some pool on the side. Maybe some pool. A little bit of pool on the side? A little, a little bit of one pocket on the side? A little one pocket. Love my 10 ball. A one pocket. All right, here we go. Three on the side, four in the corner. Yeah, I I have a feeling if we were on a back table somewhere, this guy James might be putting a little mm -hmm, mm -hmm. skills up. I could tell. I mean, you know, it's, it's tough, but uh, it's good for you. I have to find out when uh, you know how long he's been playing and all that stuff. Stevie Steve in the house. What's going on, bro? <laughs> foo? Like I said, foo? red foo? Yeah, I get that from Oh, he made a nice bank there. Ended okay. up poking himself a little bit. Man, these, 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 some of these guys, they just join. Should put the jump cue in their pocket. Possible scratch here. Uh, he didn't hit it good. I mean, he hit it, but he didn't right. hit it to make it. Because if it would have went that angle, you might have been correct. Yeah. That might have been. I might have been wrong. Little shot. Happens either way. This should be okay. You know, I mean, the five's right there. Let's roll this in. Space a little bit. This is a tricky little out here. It's a little flat on the seven. Yeah, I was mm. afraid of that. Mm. I was afraid that he was a little bit straight on it. Uh, I was like, you, you know, he could have created a little bit of an angle oh, there. I might have, right. depending on how much angle he had, I might have gone forward. Yeah. And get get the most out of it. Now he's like straight in on this nine. Fired it up. right in. That's the kind of shot they just get up and fire right away. And Spence is going to be the recipient. He is. He's like. <laughs> I'm 
Sometimes all you have to just laugh. Yeah, you do. Oh, that's a good match. Oscar and BP. You heard that? Yes, I am. I'm surprised Spencer shot that that way. So he, he went like a high ball outside. And I, he could have gone high ball inside, come around. Or you, but he should have really drawn that ball. I'm not sure why he did. And now he's left himself a real tester. Like, real tester. This is it. <laughs> He's not going to slow roll this, let me tell you. He's either no. going to spear it in or he's going to spin it out of the pocket. Let's get out of here, man. Spear it in. Spence, Spence money right there. That was a great shot. 